NATO countries may use their air defense systems to shoot down Russian missiles. NATO Secretary General in 2009 to 2014, Anders Fogh Rasmussen, said that the alliance countries could use air defense systems located in Eastern Europe to shoot down Russian missiles and drones aimed at Ukraine. He said this in an interview with the British publication iPaper. Rasmussen said interceptor missiles from neighboring NATO countries such as Poland and Romania could shoot down Russian airstrikes that target Ukraine. Earlier this year, some NATO members, namely the US, UK and France, are known to have deployed fighter jets to help Israel's air defenses intercept Iranian drones and missiles. Rasmussen noted that the military alliance could do the same thing to help Ukraine shoot down Russian air targets that are approaching. He suggested that NATO air and missile defense systems could be combined with Ukrainian ones. According to the former NATO Secretary General, such efforts would protect Ukraine much more effectively by protecting its defense industry and jump-starting recovery, in return avoiding NATO troops being sent into the country. Recall, as of March 2024, Ukraine's partners provided almost $118 billion in direct military assistance, including air defense systems, namely the American ATA-CMS air defense systems, which were used by Ukraine with devastating effect. Despite this, according to the Wall Street Journal, the rate of interception of air targets by Ukrainian air defense fell from 46% over the past six months to 30% last month. Earlier, political journalists reported that Ukraine is putting pressure on the Joe Biden administration so that the United States allows the use of American weapons to strike Russia. The main problem now is that the White House policy limits our ability to strike military targets inside Russia, said the head of the Servant of the People, David Arakamia. In turn, the head of the Office of the President of Ukraine, Andriy Ermak, said that Ukraine offers a clear time frame for joining NATO. According to him, a date no later than July 2028 is being discussed. Sudden floods around the Iranian city of Mashhad have taken the lives of at least seven people, with three more missing. The head of the Khorasan Razavi province Reza Abasa said at least seven people have died in the floods and three more are missing in the flash floods hitting the provincial capital and its neighborhoods. Many people were injured. Heavy downpours hit the province, mainly the capital Mashhad and clogged the streets. Many vehicles also got stuck in the floods. Abasi said Red Crescent Society rescue teams and military forces have been dispatched to the affected areas. Enkalab Square in Mashhad is the hardest hit area and it will take more time to return back to normal. Other cities in the province, including Faraman and Torgabe, were also flooded. Areas close to the northern border with Turkmenistan have seen heavy rainfall and large hail with streets, homes, and shops all under more than 90 centimeters of water in some locations. At the same time, further rain is expected across Central Asia, with more predicted close to the Afghan and Tajik border. City Fire Brigade divers retrieved the bodies of a man and a woman, both approximately 50 years old, in the northern Iranian city, which has seen several recent days of floods and freak weather events in part due to the wetter regional climate this year. Rescue operations have continued late in the evening to find other potential victims. Say, Sharak Saratia Toro, Ebus Charge, Abbe, Bissushi, or Divashi Charge, as I said. What's up, begin? 